it's great to see that Uber now warns users to always check the license plate before getting into a car. But my story happened about a year before that was put into place. A few friends and I were spending New Year's Eve at a house party. The New Year hit, my friend then ordered a ride. Mind you, all four of my companions were some combination of pissed drunk or baked out of their minds. I was decently buzzed, but by far the most sober of the group, and I assumed the role of mom friend and corralled the group to the street to wait for the ride. It was freezing, pitch black, and the street was completely empty. A car pulled up and my friend announced that it was our ride, so everyone started to make their way over. Out of nowhere, I got this sick feeling in my gut. My lizard brain kicked into overdrive and told me to get the hell away from that ride. That's when I realized the car was missing their Uber sticker. Since my friend was too drunk to care, I grabbed her phone to check the license plate. This was not our Uber. I realized this at the same moment my friend walked to the driver's side of the window to ask if this was the ride for Sarah, and he told her that it was. I yelled to her that this was not our ride, but she was too gone to care. But he said he's our driver, she slurred. I channeled my inner camp counselor and yelled to her that this was not our driver and the car had the wrong license plate. Instead of walking away from the car, she asked him why the license plate was different and if he was really there for Sarah. And I kid you not, this effort tells her that he put the wrong license plate on the car this morning and she was so drunk that she actually believed him. I yelled at her to get the F away from the car right now because this was not our driver. Finally, she started to walk away, but the driver grabbed her arm and tried forcing her inside. The friend next to Sarah pulls her away, but the guy visibly looked unhinged at this point and ordered her to get inside. The first thing that I could think to do was grab my phone and start filming, and that's when I yelled, Hey, a-hole, I'm filming you! This got his attention, and he was down the street before I could say another word. Not a second later, our real ride pulls up. We were all spooked, but they were all drunk, tired, and ready to let it go and keep the night going. All I could think of was some drunk girl leaving a party and forgetting to check the license plate. So was the only one who wanted to do something, but also the only one under 21. I decided to call the police. Not great in hindsight, but I would rather get busted for just being shy of 21 and kind of buzzed than letting someone possibly get kidnapped or whatever else. It all turned out just fine, and they caught the guy before he could find another victim, but we never found out what his motive was or what happened after that. The best part of the entire ordeal, though, was one of the guys in our group and his reaction. I've known him since kindergarten, and he's one of the smartest people I know, but he was so cross-faded that he actually believed the guy was just being nice and trying to help us out. He tried convincing me not to call the police, because it would only ruin the guy's night, and since it was New Year's, he should have fun. He still denies that he ever said this. In conclusion, always check your Uber's license plate.